Number 78, a cough syrup contains 5.0% ethyl alcohol, which is C2H5OH, by mass. If the density of the solution is 0.9928 grams per milliliters, determine the molarity of the alcohol in the cough syrup. Okay. So it looks like they gave us two numbers here. They gave me a percent by mass number. So they gave me a percent. And then they also gave me a density value. And from there, somehow we have to find out the molarity. Well, I guess we should start off with, you know, what molarity actually equals. Now, when they're giving it to you in terms of density and they're talking about a solution and it's a percent by mass, I would write out the full molarity formula. The full molarity formula, remember, is capital M, but it's just more than moles divided by liters, right? It's, it's still something divided by something else, but I'm just going to expand on this. It's moles of the solute divided by liters of solution. Remember, the solution is the total thing, and the solute is one component. A solution is made up of a solute and a solvent. But still, we need a mole value and then a liter value. Uh, they didn't give me any of those, so I'm kind of stuck here. So let's see if we could go anywhere else, and maybe we can compare you know, or get to where we have to be. Let's first talk about this percentage, right? There's a percent by mass. Now, I'm thinking to myself, hmm, percent by mass. Do I know any formulas? Yeah, the formula is this one. And maybe I'll put this over here. Now, a percent in general is just a part divided by the whole. But just pay attention here. Look at this. It's solute over solution and solute over solution. Okay, so we're getting a little closer. Seems like we're going to have to use my percent mass to kind of put those numbers into here. But the units are not the same, right? Ooh, that was, <laughs> that was a little crazy. Um, we have mass on the percent mass equation and then moles and liters. But they only gave me a percent value, which means I only know this number, right? But let's, let's entertain this thought. I have 5.0 equals something times 100, right? They didn't give me the solute mass, and they didn't give me the solution mass. But maybe I could put numbers in here to make this equal to 5. Let's start with the 100. I don't want this 100 here. So technically, if this is in a numerator, right, the 100 should be on the bottom. Oh, and I say grams because it's a mass, but the number 100 will cancel out. What number would be on the top to get it equal to 5 if these cancel out? Yeah, you got it. 5, right? And look at that. I now have both numbers, and maybe I'll just go back. Yeah, there we go. So now I have both numbers for solute and solvent. So I have a solute of 5.0 grams, and they tell me what it is. It's of ethyl alcohol, so C2H5OH. Now, according to the molarity solution for the solute, I need to find the moles of that. I'm in grams, so I'm going to have to do a conversion, C2H5OH. And then I'll write down here the solution. I have 100 grams, but I need my solution. Maybe I'll highlight that as well. My solution needs to be in liters. So I'm going to have to convert from grams to liters. Let's do this conversion first, right? We've done tons of converting in which we convert from a gram to a mole of the same compound. That's using the periodic table and a conversion factor. So. We got this. We write out what we are given, the 5.0 grams of the C2H5OH. We times by the ratio. We do not want this unit, so that goes on the opposite side. And we want the moles of C2H5OH. If we're using the periodic table, remember that wherever the word mole is, you have one mole. 
because one mole of whatever it is equals the mass on the periodic table. So get your calcies out, get your periodic tables out, and let's see if your number matches mine. I'm going to get the mass value for ethyl alcohol, which, by the way, is if you're over 21, <laughs> right? This is the alcohol that we drink. Ethyl alcohol is the beverage alcohol, yeah? So all you're doing is, you know, you're basically drinking this compound. Fun. <laughs> but anyway, let's get the mass of this. So I'm going to go on my periodic table. Let's see, I got two carbons, 2 times 12, 0 0.01, plus there's a total of six hydrogens here, right? So 1.008, and then there's only one oxygen, so 16. And I believe, yeah, 46, did I do two? Yeah, 46.068. There you go. Cancel the units that you can. And now this looks like it's just a simple division, right? It's five divided by 46.068. So I get 0 0.1085, and that's moles of the solute, right? C2H5OH. And that's the number. So if I just make this like this, this is the number that goes on the top, 0 0.1085 moles. Okay, now we just got to find the, the bottom number and then just do the division. So how do I go from grams to liters? Oh, that's why they gave me the density, right? I have grams, so I have a mass value. They told me that the density was this. So I can use the formula, right? And the formula is D equals M over V, right? We have the density, we have the mass, that's the 100 grams, so we're looking for a volume. You can keep it in this formula. I'm just going to change it up. I'm just going to say that volume equals mass divided by density. And I'm just going to do the straight uh, division here. So we have the mass, which was 100 grams and divide by the density, which is 0 0.9928. Okay, so what do we get as our volume? 100 divided by 0.9928. I get 100.73. But now what unit is it, right? We want liters, but did we get it in liters? Well, look at the density units, guys. If we inputted a gram for the mass, and that's what we had here, what comes out? Oh, milliliters. So always use your units to help you out. But I still want liters. So how do I go from milliliters to liters? We know that conversion. That's just simply dividing by 1,000. So all you got to do is just take this number and divide it by 1,000. So my new volume, which I'll put up here, is 0 0.10073, and now that's in liters. That's the number that goes on the bottom, 0 0.10073 liters. And finally, you get your answer, 0 0.1085 divided by 0 0.10073 looks like since this is the lowest sig fig amount, I technically, if we're doing sig figs, I technically should have two sig figs, so this would be 1.1 molarity, or moles over liter, yeah? Okay, so there you go, guys. What do you think? Hopefully this helps. Let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you want. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that, and I hope you guys are having a great day. I will... Talk to you soon, and we'll do some more chem problems. Yeah? Okay. I'll see you there.